okay so this is the last part so now it's about us so the x-ray is entering our body so how much energy will go in the body is it safe so how do we quantify these things how much energy is going into the body and all of that so so these next couple of slides are based on that so how many photons are there in the body that is characterized by fluence so fluence is the number of photons or partic particles passing through a unit cross-sectional area uh, and it is given by this formula so it's represented by phi and it is the number of photons per unit area so let's say this is a tissue and at a particular time how many photons are there that is uh, fluence but usually what we measure is flux so that is how many photons are there in a particular area at a particular time or with respect to time so this is like the speed if you say the speed of fluence that's the fluence rate and that's denoted by phi dot so there is a small dot over here that indicates so this is basically differentiation so you differentiate fluence with respect to time and you get this so this tells you how many photons are there in a in a particular area per unit time then how much energy is passing through my body which is so this is again talking about just photons but we are interested in energy so you multiply that with the energy of every photon so e is the energy per photon so this is more interesting so that is what is called as energy fluence and it is given by this formula and the last thing is karma kinetic energy released in matter so there are some interactions because of which there was this electron that was ejected so let's say uh, considering the photoelectric effect uh, the photoelectric effect case so you see that when the uh, when the photon is incident on the k shell atom there is this electron that is ejected with uh, certain kinetic energy so if you consider that so the fraction of the kinetic energy of that particular electron that is ejected over the initial energy of the photon when you multiply that with the mass attenuation coefficient and the energy fluence that gives you karma or how much kinetic energy is released in the matter so this is again important because we want to see how many elect how how many electrons will be emitted inside the body i mean outside the atom and this should be uh, observed or controlled and that's it do you have any questions okay so if you don't have any questions i have some questions which is your homework for this week so yeah so these slides uh, will be there are, are the slides on canvas they are okay so yeah so you can go through them and yeah that's all thank you so much